we have stated, we have stated categorically that we are not stopping protests, but we're only appealing that give government some time that some of these issues will be resolved. You are aware that there was a court order that said yesterday the court did not stop protests. But the court said these protests will be confined to a particular area, which is the Moshi Dabiola stadium. Why is Wike addressing Nigerians? No one voted for him, even governors that were voted for. They didn't deem it fit to address Nigerians, including the ones that imposed curfew in their different states. From threatening Nigerians not to dare come out and protest in the FCT that they will not allow it, to now accepting the fact that Nigerians have a right to peaceful protest. He's now encouraging Nigerians, saying that they are not saying we shouldn't come out to protest, but you should protest in a peaceful manner. He wants to confine Nigerians to a stadium. Everyone has a right to free movement. No court can confine people to a particular area, preventing them from moving around the way they want. The job of the police is to fish out troublemakers, people who are rioting instead of peacefully protesting. That's their job, not shooting at or targeting peaceful protesters. Sit down. Show less people. Look at them using live ammunition. According to reports, all the 11 casualties recorded so far in this nationwide protest were peaceful protesters who weren't armed in any way. From Bornu to Abuja to other parts of Nigeria, all of them were peaceful protesters. So let the security agents do their job, not threatening people not to come out to protest like the IG said. After his statement yesterday, he ended up telling people to stop the protest, that they should not come out today to protest again. Nwike shouldn't be making court references. No one takes the court seriously anymore in Nigeria. After what happened last year, Nigerians saw what they did. How can they seriously want to confine Nigerians to a stadium? It's not possible. Anyone has the right to move around, the right of free movement. You can be protesting while you're going to work. You can be protesting while you're going for lunch. All this energy they spend on non-issues, why not use that energy to address the real issues that matter to Nigerians? Address the issues why Nigerians are protesting in the first place instead of trying to intimidate them to stop protesting. Why can't these people understand this? Now, we also have intelligence that a senator had to invite some security agencies to lead some of them to go and provide food to the protesters. That is sponsorship. A senator providing food for protesters. And I hope that the security agencies will invite the, the senator and find out how he will be sponsoring this kind of news against the government of the day. Wike is threatening a senator. Maybe the senator is from the opposition. The fact that the senator gave people food doesn't mean that he tactically supports them. Even if he supports them, it is not illegal. The people in power today supported and promoted protests and that protest brought them to power. Why are they trying to make it illegal today? And the food the senator gave to protesters, is it different from the rights Tinubu and APC have been giving to Nigerians all this time? Wike should name the senator so that Nigerians can thank him because Nigerians are saying that they are hungry. They said it to the face of the minister who came to address them at the Eagle Square. So it is doing the right thing, responding to the issues directly by giving them food. Someone is saying that he's hungry, you gave the person food. How is that not the right thing to do? All this time he's spending trying to intimidate and feeling that he's God. Abuja is not River State where he talks and people will shout and applaud him. No, here people have control of their minds. They are not beggars, they are mostly middle class. So we should understand that it is better for politicians to address the real issues instead of always skirting around the issue. Now, now they fight ah. people where they lose. <laughs> it is why you have to stand 
with the people that can speak for you because the law you sign is against you coming to protest. So stand with the civilians, stand with the people to protest against you. Sure, 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 sure. Stand with the people, with the people sure, who are hungry that have sure. to you. Well, 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 stand with the people. Well, I will not be telling you how to go to Power is not for them, but you are holding this one today. Tomorrow you will not Nigerians have sent a very strong message to politicians. That's why Wike is suddenly humbled. Today, they should come out and continue their peaceful protest. It is their right. For the rioters and people that are looting and damaging government property, they should not be in their midst. In fact, the peaceful protesters should be able to point out the rioters to the security agents so that they can arrest and remove them from the peaceful protesters. And they are already taking the cue. It was reported that looters in Gombe returned all they looted. Yes, other looters should try and do the same, especially in Kanu and other states where they looted. Looting is not the objective of the protest. Nigerians are demanding that the government addresses many issues that affect them. Issues that have brought untold, unbearable hardship on them, causing massive hunger across the land. So they should focus on the objective. If the objective is achieved, everyone will be better for it. Up till now, Tinubu hasn't addressed Nigerians. He's not showing leadership. He can't pretend not to know what is happening in Nigeria. So keeping mute is not an option. He must show leadership and address Nigerians and tell Nigerians what he's doing to ameliorate the suffering and hunger in the land. People are shouting that they are hungry and the government handlers are busy showing Nigerians what else they did that in no way can tackle hunger. Tell Nigerians what you will do to reduce the hunger. Something that will reduce it instantly. Something like reversing the petrol price increase and unfloating the Naira, fixing the exchange rate to about 500 Naira to $1. We're not agree, not we say no. uh, we are with the protest. Well, no, the... It's time for them to come down from their high horses and accept the fact that these policies have impoverished Nigerians. This is the first time in many decades that northerners will openly disagree with their religious leaders and traditional rulers. The government didn't expect that. That was why they were calling meetings before the protest, thinking that these religious leaders and imams would help them to convince Nigerians not to come out to protest. While it might look like these leaders scammed Tinubu after the meetings and collecting money from him to stop people from protesting, it wasn't actually a scam. It just shows that it's not easy to control a hungry man. A hungry man is an angry man. Even the people that threatened protesters in Lagos that they shouldn't come out, they fixed a traditional ritual ceremony in the same period of the protest. None of them were seen. In the end, no ceremony took place. People assembled in many places in Lagos and protested. <laughs> In these difficult times, even dollar billionaires are feeling the heat, not to talk of traditionalists or imams and traditional rulers. They are all feeling the pinch. Everyone goes to the same market. They experience the high cost of living. Even the people they hired to participate in the no protest protest, a protest to counter the hunger protest, some of them were caught on TV crying about the hunger in the land. Work no day, money no day. Everything is hard. See common garina, one cup of garina is 200 naira. See, see a pair, make na help us for this Nigeria. You just did a song. Mama, I did a video music, the video also. Give me 200 naira. Baba, do you do a pair, help us. Like a bam. So it is time for the politicians to climb down from their high horses and humble themselves and accept the fact that things are not going the correct way that Nigerians are suffering, it is time for them to address the issues. Otherwise, whatever happens going forward in the protests, 
they must own it 100% because they've been given enough time to address the issues, including the time before the protest. About one month notice was given to the government to address these issues. Many people were saying that if Nigerians are ready, they shouldn't be giving anyone any notice that they should just troop out in their numbers and start protesting, that it is better, it is spontaneous instead of giving them time to prepare. But now Nigerians have seen that even with the notice given to the government, they still fail to do anything. Kedua zari. Kau tak 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 kau tak